just exactly what is fashion? I interviewed seven students at Antioch High School to find out their opinion on fashion. And they are... Lee Snedden, Doug Rogers, Leslie Fenton, Rick Watson, Trav Taylor, Stephanie Marshall, and Wendy Robar. What's your idea of fashion? Well, it depends on whose fashion. I mean, I think that everyone else has a different kind of fashion. Do you mean my fashion, or do you mean the school's fashion, or do you mean New York's fashion, or Germany's fashion? Your general definition of fashion itself. Fashion. Uh, what the public eye likes to look at when in the way of clothing. That's my idea of fashion. I guess style is just what, what you want to be. And how you want to be, and what people you want to be with. Well, basically I'm not in on fashion. I mean, I'm just here to dress like myself. And I think the people that are always in for money really lose a lot of friends. I mean, they aren't like in on life. They're always talking about, oh, I spent 60 bucks on a pair of pants. You know, that's not me, as you can tell. Um, I just, you know, Salvation Army, basically. I'm not really worried about what my clothes look like right now, maybe later, but not right now. My general opinion on fashion is just being what you want to be, dressing what you want to wear, you know, just being yourself. The style I like is kind of ska and punk. Ska is from England. It's kind of... Which is? It's kind of like Duran Duran, sort of, but they're kind of mediocre to this. They're not as intense. Um, I guess just dressing the way you want to and just, I don't know, being in with the times, about back 10 years or something. Fashion means to me an outlook of personality, you know, the way people dress. Do people make fun of you or criticize? Yeah. And how do you react to that? I don't think I can say it on camera. <laughs> Seriously. No, most of the time, uh, my friend Wendy's my protector. She, um, we always get rude comments from a lot of the jocks sitting around the halls. And I'll just ignore it, because that's what I usually do. I'll just ignore it, and Wendy will turn around, she'll stand up, and she'll go, thank you, <laughs> like it's directed at her. So, I don't know, that, that lets off a lot of the tension. But, I mean, some people think it's cool. Some people pretend to think it's cool. Do, do people tease you about the way you dress or cut your hair? No. Nah. Never? No. Nah. Oh, God, they do gross things. They yell at me, they spit water on me, they throw bottles at me, all kinds of things like that. Just because basically I'm being myself and I guess they can't handle it because I'm different. The people that like to tease you are real jerks. You know, you just gotta accept what you are. People gotta accept what you are, you know, and not judge you by the way you dress or act or look. People call me fags and stuff and, you know, say, that why do you dress that way? Were you beat when you were a little kid? And ask me, are you a runaway? Can't you afford f clothes? They tease all the whole time, but you just gotta laugh it off and just, you know. Even my friends tease me, and um, and just the like, the jocks tease me a lot in the hallway, yeah, how do they tease and they throw things at me, like food. Oh, heck yeah, because <laughs> I used to go through all that stuff of people calling you names, and, and now I used to just ignore it, but when Lee was, Lee always gets, people always say stuff to her walking down the halls and stuff, and I know what it's like for her because I went through the same thing, and I feel bad for her, <laughs> but people, sh they shouldn't do that, I'm serious. How do your parents feel about it? Um, my dad doesn't especially like it, but I don't live with him, so it doesn't matter anyways. Uh, my mom, my mom thinks it's okay. I mean, she doesn't, she doesn't go, she doesn't um, judge people on the way they look, just how, you know, what they're like inside, you know, if they're nice and, and stuff like that. So she knows, she knows that I'm still the same person, whether I have my hair long or have it like this. Do your parents ever say anything to you about the way you dress or the way you style your hair? I don't know. I haven't asked them. Do they, have they ever talked to you about it or anything? Um, no. They usually think 
Well, they don't like the haircut, but, you know, I'm not hurting anybody, and I could get bad grades, and I don't do drugs, and I could be, like, a real low life, but I'm not, you know, so they let me do what I want. Basically, if I keep the grades up and stuff, they'll let me do whatever I want because I'm, you know, social outcast. Who cares? My parents don't really care about how much I dress. It's just as, as long as I don't have holes in my pants or just stuff like that. Um, my dad first got kind of mad when I cut my hair this way. He was all disgusted with me. And so he just said, I can't get a weird haircut. This is the worst it'll get. And I just said, OK, so I keep cutting it the same way. They like the way I dress. They think it's good that I'm doing something different. They just don't want me to get too intense like a mohawk because they want me to still be able to go somewhere with them, you know, and not say, well, his kids are, his, their kids are raised wrong or something, you know, or he was beat when he was a little kid or something, you know, think I'm going crazy or something. They don't want me to dress super weird. Well, my stepdad hates it. <laughs> no, I don't think so, but my mom, I guess she accepts it. have any messages for the general public? Nope. Go to concerts you'll like them. The <laughs> punk ones. Bye. There's more places than Antioch. <laughs> I mean, there's other towns like San Francisco and Berkeley and get out get out of this town and do something else besides cruise around in your cars all the time. Antioch shape up, you're slow. <laughs> you should give new people, people chances. Um, don't criticize them for what they wear or the way, the way they wear their hair. Um, you know, just give them a chance, you know, get to know them, see what they're, see what they're like, you know. So there you have it, some fashion in 1984. I'm Scott Hayden for the Spotlight.